China is poised to revolutionize the nuclear energy landscape, the Asian giant wants to build the world's first thorium-based molten salt nuclear power station, a development that could reshape global energy production. Nuclear power is often met with fear, yet it remains a promising option for a reliable, carbon-free future. Among the various nuclear technologies, molten salt reactors MSRs, powered by thorium, are emerging as safer, cheaper, and cleaner alternatives to conventional uranium-based reactors. With countries like China testing experimental thorium reactors and US companies advancing their projects, the potential of thorium energy is growing. In this video, we explore how thorium reactors work, their advantages in terms of safety and efficiency, and the challenges they face. Could thorium be the breakthrough nuclear power needs for a sustainable energy future? Background In 2020, a video was produced explaining the basics of thorium reactors, what they are, why they've sparked excitement, and whether they could truly become the future of green energy. At that time, however, progress on molten salt reactors, MSRs, was still limited. For example, TerraPower's project on the Travelling Wave Reactor, TWR, was put on hold in 2019, marking a significant setback. The project's cost was estimated to be over a billion dollars, a considerable loss for the company. Experts such as Lin Wen Hu, director of MIT's Nuclear Reactor Laboratory, had also highlighted that much work was needed to demonstrate molten salt reactor technology, especially with thorium. MSRs had to be tested with uranium before moving to thorium fuel cycles, and the challenges were still too numerous to ignore. But since then, there has been notable progress in the thorium and molten salt reactor field. In this video, we'll explore how thorium reactors are evolving, and how much closer they are to becoming a viable energy solution. The potential of thorium as an energy source has sparked international interest. Countries and companies alike are investing in research and development to make thorium reactors a reality. But the question remains, will thorium reactors overcome the technical and economic hurdles to reshape the nuclear industry? What are molten salt reactors? Before diving into thorium itself, it's important to understand how molten salt reactors, MSRs, operate. Traditional nuclear reactors rely on fission, the splitting of atoms inside a containment vessel. Neutrons are emitted during fission and initiate further reactions in a chain. The energy released in these reactions is used to generate steam, which powers turbines to produce electricity. In conventional reactors, uranium or plutonium serves as the fuel. These reactors require large containment structures to house the solid fuel rods. The fuel is cooled using water or another liquid, which also helps regulate the temperature. Control rods made of neutron-absorbing materials are employed to slow down or stop the fission process when necessary. However, one major risk in these systems is the possibility of a meltdown. Disasters like Three Mile Island, Chernobyl, and Fukushima have highlighted the dangers of excessive heat buildup in the reactor core. These incidents, among others, have shaped the public's wariness toward nuclear power. This is where molten salt reactors, MSRs, come into play. MSRs offer a different approach by using liquid fuel, which not only acts as the fuel, but also as the coolant, making them safer and more efficient. The self-regulating nature of MSRs ensures that as the temperature increases, the fission rate decreases, preventing catastrophic failures. Unlike conventional reactors, MSRs are designed to handle the heat more efficiently. The liquid fuel allows for much better heat transfer, and the reactor can operate at much higher temperatures, providing superior efficiency compared to traditional water-cooled reactors. This higher temperature also opens up opportunities for industrial applications beyond power generation, such as desalination and hydrogen production. The role of thorium, an alternative fuel. Thorium plays a crucial role in the development of advanced nuclear reactors, particularly in molten salt reactors, MSRs. Unlike uranium, thorium is not fissile in its natural state, but can be converted into uranium-233 U-233, when it absorbs a neutron. U-233 is highly fissile and can sustain a chain reaction in a reactor, making thorium a viable alternative fuel source. 
One of the key advantages of thorium over uranium is its abundance. Thorium is three times more plentiful than uranium, making it a potentially more sustainable option for long-term energy production. In addition to its abundance, thorium reactors produce significantly less radioactive waste compared to conventional uranium reactors. The waste from thorium reactors has a much shorter half-life, typically around 500 years, whereas uranium-based reactors create waste that remains hazardous for up to 10,000 years. This reduced waste and the ability to recycle uranium-233 from the reactor make thorium a more environmentally friendly option for nuclear energy. Thorium also has inherent safety advantages. It operates at lower pressures and higher temperatures than uranium reactors, reducing the risk of a catastrophic meltdown. Furthermore, molten salt reactors using thorium can self-regulate their temperature, ensuring stable operation and reducing the need for external cooling mechanisms. These attributes make thorium a promising fuel for the future of nuclear energy. How Molten Salt Reactors Work with Thorium Molten salt reactors MSRs, powered by thorium use liquid fluoride salts as both the fuel and coolant, offering significant advantages over traditional reactors. In a thorium MSR, thorium-232 is dissolved into the molten salt, which is heated to temperatures above 600 degrees Celsius. When thorium absorbs a neutron, it transforms into uranium-233, U-233, a fissile isotope that sustains a chain reaction, producing energy. The molten salt serves as an efficient heat transfer medium, enabling the reactor to operate at higher temperatures than conventional reactors, improving efficiency. It also requires no high-pressure containment vessels, reducing reactor size and cost. Additionally, the liquid salt allows for continuous refueling while the reactor is in operation, reducing downtime and increasing overall efficiency. One of the key safety benefits of MSRs is their self-regulating nature. As the reactor temperature rises, the rate of the fission reaction naturally slows, preventing overheating. MSRs also feature a freeze plug safety mechanism. If there's a malfunction or the temperature becomes too high, the molten salt drains into a storage tank, automatically shutting down the reactor without human intervention. This combination of high efficiency, inherent safety features, and continuous refueling makes thorium-powered MSRs a promising alternative to traditional nuclear reactors, with the potential to revolutionize the nuclear energy industry. Pros and cons of thorium reactors Thorium reactors present several advantages over traditional uranium-based reactors, offering a safer, more efficient, and sustainable energy solution. One of the main benefits is safety. Thorium reactors operate at lower pressures and higher temperatures, reducing the risk of catastrophic failures. The molten salt coolant used in these reactors self-regulates the temperature, slowing down the fission reaction as it heats up, preventing overheating. Thorium reactors also produce significantly less radioactive waste compared to uranium reactors. The waste from thorium reactors has a much shorter half-life, around 500 years, whereas uranium waste remains hazardous for thousands of years. Additionally, thorium is three times more abundant than uranium, making it a more sustainable and long-term fuel source. However, there are challenges to overcome. The technology required for thorium reactors is still under development, particularly in terms of handling the liquid fuel and maintaining stability over time. While thorium is more abundant, it is more expensive to mine and refine than uranium, which could raise operational costs. Another concern is the potential for nuclear proliferation. Thorium reactors produce uranium-233, which can be separated and used in nuclear weapons, posing a security risk. Despite these challenges, thorium reactors offer a promising alternative to traditional nuclear power, with safer, cleaner, and more efficient energy production. The current state of thorium reactors. Despite these challenges, significant progress has been made in the development of thorium reactors. In the United States, companies like Kairos Power are working on demonstration reactors. The California-based company aims to have a 50 MW reactor operational by 2026. 
Southern Company is also working on a project with the US Department of Energy to build the molten chloride reactor experiment. China, however, is leading the way in thorium reactor development. Since 2011, the Chinese government has invested over $500 million in its molten salt reactor program. Their experimental reactor, based on the technology developed by Oak Ridge National Laboratory in the 1950s, is expected to generate 2 MW of thermal power, enough to power around 1,000 homes. If successful, China plans to build a commercial reactor by 2030. This progress represents a major step forward in the pursuit of safer and more efficient nuclear energy. With both the US and China investing heavily in thorium and molten salt reactors, the future of nuclear power may very well involve thorium-based technologies. Can thorium be cheaper? From an economic perspective, thorium reactors offer significant advantages. Studies suggest that the levelized cost of electricity, LCOE, for thorium molten salt reactors is estimated at $53.51 per megawatt hour, MWH, over 30 years, making them cheaper than traditional reactors, which have an LCOE of $63.08 WIH. Additionally, thorium reactors can integrate well with renewable energy sources like solar and wind. They don't require large water supplies for cooling, making them suitable for water-scarce areas. The heat generated by these reactors can also aid in desalination, helping address global water shortages while contributing to a low-carbon future. In conclusion, thorium reactors offer a safer, more efficient, and economically viable alternative to traditional nuclear power, with the potential to support a sustainable, low-carbon future while addressing energy and water challenges.